be marketable. Be marketable. Hi, I'm James, the box office artist, and this is part seven of my How to Become a Comic Artist series. And actually, this will be the last part. I'm sure I will have more advice down the line. I'm sure I will give you more advice if you tweet me and ask me specific questions. But for now, this is the last part for now. Not saying that all you have to do is follow these seven parts. I'm sure there is more you have to do if you want to get your foot into that door. But this last part I want to talk about is be marketable. Be marketable. What does that mean? At the end of the day, somebody is going to walk into the comic shop and your art should be the reason they pick up of the book, take that money out of their pocket and pay for that comic book and leave with it. Okay? It's your artwork that will first catch their eye. It's actually not the story unless they've been a fan of that story already. It's, if, especially if it's a new book. It's your art that will catch their eye first and bring them out. Right? If it's just your art, that will get you into the door. That will get you lots of jobs. If your art is the reason why people are buying that book. Okay? So the question is, how can you be marketable? Your style. Your style has to be something that pleases that today's comic book market. Now, things have changed a lot. Right? Over time. Styles have changed a lot. You look back at the history of comics. Style in the 70s, completely different from the style in the 80s, completely different from the style in the 90s, completely different in the 2000s. And when I was drawing, coming up into the 2000s, everyone was doing this realistic type style where everyone was kind of doing a Brian Hitch sort of thing where we were actually casting our comic book characters so they kind of look like actors. Kind of like what I'm doing on my channel. But uh, people were doing that at the time. Right now, people don't like that. Right now, it's more like a cartoonish type of style, which is great for the publishers because it's actually faster to draw. That's how Dad did it. That's how America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. Here's the thing. Art is very subjective at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you have to be happy with the art that you're putting out, but the, to the publisher, they have to be happy that your art sells, okay? So if you have an alternative style of art, the best thing for you to do, okay? If you don't have that marketable piece of art, but you like your style, the best thing to do is prove that your art can sell. And how do you do that? Get your own following. How can you get your following? Again, we talked about social media before. This is a golden opportunity for you to build fans without having to work for these companies already, right? On Twitter, Instagram, those are two great places to start posting art. Start putting, posting your art in all these different forums. Get people to follow you who are willing to follow you, right? And then you already have your base audience there, right? And if you get to 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, imagine you have 20,000 followers because they like your art and you could go to them, hey, I'm gonna be starting this Marvel book. You might wanna go and buy this Marvel book. How many of them you think will go and buy the Marvel book? A lot of them will. Maybe a lot of them will download it. But a lot of them will go and buy this book, right? And then Marvel will be very happy with you. And then when you actually have a Marvel book, then you'll get even more followers. It's a different game now than it was before. It's a different game now because you can actually build an audience without having a job, okay? You could build an audience solely on your art. So get your artwork out there. Be marketable to these people. What do these people want you to draw? What do they want to see? In fact, I ask that to you every time I do a video. What do you want me to draw, right? How do you think I can improve too? I wanna know as well, right? Take advantage of that. Take advantage of all social media. If you can prove you could be marketable, if you can prove you could have a following, that will open the eyes of these publishers. That can get your foot into the door and that could get you your first comic job. And you'll meet some cool people at conventions as well. My name is James, I'm the Box Office Artist. Thank you for watching my How to Become a Comic Book Artist series. Please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at Box Office Artist. Please subscribe to my channel. Please ask me any questions you want. And my name is James, and I'm here to say, keep drawing.